Everett with a national news briefing. Queensland are contact tracers are nervously waiting for results after a man on the Gold Coast tested positive to COVID. The man in his 30s came from Melbourne, believed to be infectious in the community for 10 days. Chief Health Officer Dr Jeanette Young says he didn't get tested straight away. Please don't wait like this poor gentleman has, that he's so breathless he can hardly talk to us. Come forward straight away any symptoms so that we can get you tested. Victoria has confirmed Mildura will come out of lockdown at midnight, a day earlier than planned. Stay-at-home orders will be lifted in line with Melbourne, the most lockdown city in the world. To WA, and it looks like police there are focusing on abduction in the search for little Cleo Smith. The four-year-old vanished nearly a week ago, and a million-dollar reward has just been offered to find her. Someone in our community knows what happened to Cleo. Someone has the knowledge that can help. And now there's a million reasons why that you need to come forward. To New South Wales and the former Premier Gladys Berejiklian will appear in an ICAC hearing on Thursday and Friday next week. She's being investigated by the corruption watchdog. Her former secret boyfriend, Daryl Maguire, will appear on Wednesday. The Nationals are now meeting to finalise their terms to agree to a net zero emissions by 2050 target. Leader Barnaby Joyce is today handing over a list of demands to the PM, including safeguards for jobs. And staff at Woolies and Coles will have to get the jab. The supermarket giants in introducing VAX mandates. Australia Post is doing everything they can to safely and quickly deliver for Australia. To easily track and control your deliveries, download the Australia Post app today. AFL and AFLW players and staff who refuse to be vaxxed will be banned from clubs, training and playing. The only exceptions will be for those with a medical exemption. And Victorian coach Chris Rogers is confident Will Pukowski has what it takes to fire in the upcoming Ashes series, even with a limited lead-up as he recovers from concussion. Rogers says he's shown before he can hit the ground running. As he did last year in the two Sheffield Shield games where he got two 200s, so you know, if he was good enough to come and do something like that again, I think the Australian selectors would definitely have uh, something to consider. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Partly cloudy skies on the limestone coast this evening as we drop to 6 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, a possible shower, 19, and Saturday, showers easing, 16. For radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app.